The Elementor Mega Menu is really, really awesome. In this video, I wanna show you how to set it up on your own website. So the first thing you need to do is to come over here to Elementor, hover over here, and come all the way down here to Tools. So this is a better version, so you wanna make sure that you're not running this on a live website. Next, you wanna click on Version Control, scroll all the way down here, and just make sure Beta Tester is enabled. Once you've enabled it, click on Save, and then the next step is to head over here to your settings. So here you need to activate a few features. So you're gonna come over here, you wanna scroll down, make sure Flexbox is uh, enabled, Editor Top Bar is enabled, Nested Elements is also enabled, and also Menu. But you know what I do? I activate everything because this is a test site anyway. So the Elemental Mega Menu is amazing because you can pretty much design anything on it. So let me show you how that works. So what you wanna do next is, in fact, before I show you that, let's come over here to our pages so that you can see what pages we have. So at the moment, we just have the About Us, the Contact, and the Home. Now let's head over here to Elementor, and what we need here is the templates, and we are going to go to the Theme Builder because that's where we have access to the header. So here, we're gonna click on this Add New, and what we need here is a header template. So I'm gonna select that. So at the moment, we have all these uh, pre-made ones. We're not uh, excited about that because we are more interested in the latest feature. So over here now, what we need to do is to click on this plus button. Now you may have no noticed that uh, the interface here has slightly changed. Uh, I'm gonna go through that later on. Okay, so now that I have this, we need to choose our layout. So I'm gonna click here on my uh, first uh, box here. So what I need here is a logo and also the navigation. But before I do that, let me just add a bit of color over here. So I'm gonna click on this item here and let's go to style because this is where we have access to our color. So I'm gonna come over here to classic and we are going to now click here and choose our color. So I'm not gonna go with a full on black. I just want a dark gray. So let's go with something like that, okay? Great, so next I'm gonna come back over here and this is now time to add all our elements into our main header. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button to add my element and what I need here is the logo. So I'm gonna drag and drop my site logo just like that. Next, I'm going to now come over here, click on add element, and this time I need to add my menu. Now notice that we have this WordPress menu here. That's what we used to use before, but now we have this menu here. This is uh, what enables us to create our mega menu. So I'm gonna drag and drop it just below the logo here like that. Okay, so you may notice that, okay, these things are stacked. Now we can fix that easily because this is Flexbox. I can just click over here and then I can just choose my direction. So I'm gonna select that and already I have my direction facing that way and everything now is on the straight line. So I can see here my logo has gone crazy. Let me go back and fix that. So let's increase our height here. Okay, so let's go with 86. Over here, I can see that my menu is way too close to my logo and that's not how I want it. So I'm gonna click on this little pencil icon to go into my settings. Next, I'm gonna come over here now and choose my item position and set it to end. So now everything is far apart and all I have to do now is to um, customize my menu. Now the reason why we have this is because we can go in and specifically add the pages that we want and then connect them dynamically. Now let me show you how to do that. So our first here item here is called item one. So we can just go in here and let's name this home. So this is where this is not where we need to add our link. So I'll show you what you need to do here. We need to come over here to dynamic tags. And this is where now I can go to internal URL and click here on this uh, spanner item. And then over here is where I can just uh, make sure that it's set on content. And then on the bottom here is where I'm going to now search for my homepage. So I know it's there because remember I showed you the homepage before. I'm gonna select that. So now my link here is going to be connecting to my homepage. And this is what we need to do with all the other uh, menus. So let's say, oh, in fact, let's close this. Let's move on to the next one. So let's say uh, this one here needs to be connected to, let's say my uh, contact page. I can just come over here, name the page contact. And like we did before, we're gonna come over here, dynamic tags, internal URL, and then I'm going to click on the spanner, make sure this is set to content, and then I'm just gonna come over here and search for my contact page. Okay, I know it's a bit 
too much to go in and add these manually. But remember, the most important thing we need here is the mega menu. So this now here is going to be our mega menu. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to name these services. Now notice here that I'm not going to uh, go in and click on dynamic. Instead, I'm going to come over here on drop down contents. Okay, so I'm going to click here and now it has been activated. So while I'm here, I just need to make a, uh, a few changes to uh, my design here because we can see that uh, the colors here are not looking right. So I just need to go in and um, fix that. So I'm going to come over here to style and then I'm going to come over here to color. So let's go ahead and choose our color here. Just want something that's easier to read. Okay, so that's our normal. We can go to hover and set our hover color here. But you know what? We're not going to waste too much time uh, with that. Let's go ahead and customize this now. So to add our drop down mega menu, all we need to do is to come over here on this little drop down on the word services. Click on that. And now you notice that we have this new item here on the bottom. So this is where now we can click on this plus button and add our layout. So we can add pretty much um, what we want in here, which is very, very exciting. So I'm going to go with, uh, say, this layout here. So over here, this is our services. So I can click here on this plus button here and add, let's say, a video. So this is a video that people can see right away on my uh, menu. Okay, So let's say that's our video. And then over here to the right, I can now start adding all my other elements. So I'm going to click here on this plus button to add my elements. And this time I need to add a WordPress menu. Drag and drop it here. So I can choose the menu that I want to add in here. So I can go with primary two. But of course, you need to create these way ahead of time so that they show up here. So now that I have that, I can now further stylize that. So I'm going to come over here to style. Here, I want these to be in a straight line, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead and fix that. So to change the orientation, we need to come over here. By default, it's set to horizontal. So I need to set this to vertical. So now we can see that it's all looking great and it's vertical. Now let's further customize this by adding a color here for the background. So I'm going to do that and come over here to my style. So for the background color, I'm just going to click over here. And now I can choose the color for my drop down. Okay, so I'm going to use a slightly lighter gray here so we can see the difference between our main menu and our other one. So in here now, I can go into my text and I can change the color here. So let's say we want our text color to be much easier to read. I'm going to set it to something like that. And of course, we can always go in and change anything else here, the size, the font and everything else. But pretty much this is our mega menu. Now let's test this out and see how this works. OK, so if I toggle here, you notice that pretty much everything is normal. But uh, once I click on that, now we have our mega menu. It's very, very easy to set up. And what I really like about this is you can add pretty much anything inside here. You can even add um, icon boxes. So your services could be featured there as actual items on it. So this is really, really powerful. So once you've done this, all you have to do now is to save this and assign it to your website. So let us now go ahead and exit out of here. I'm going to publish it. And you can see here, this is where our condition is. I'm going to click on this add condition and it says now include entire website. So I can choose specific web, uh, web pages, but here I'm going to say entire website, save and close. So we can have multiple mega menus here. So let's say we wanted to add another item here on the top. All we need to do is to just make sure that we are in this um, item settings like that. So now we can add even more links over here. But as I mentioned before, the most important thing is just to make sure that uh, whatever it is that does not need to be a mega menu should be linked here dynamically. But if I need to add a new item, I can either just click here to add another item and I can just give it a name. So let's say this one here is a user. Now with this, I can choose maybe to add a login. Um, so. To do that, I can just uh, click here, activate my mega menu, click on this little drop down, and now this is my layout. I'm gonna click here on this plus button. And over here now, I can add my layout. Let's add our form. 
So this is going to be our login form. Drag and drop it in here. We may need to go in and stylize this, make it look nice. But the most important thing I need to do here is to add the background color. So I'm going to come over here to style. Let's go to our colors here. So let's go with something like that. Okay, I'm just doing this quickly, but this is how you would uh, pretty much add uh, your items here. So now when you hover over this, this form here is going to show, and that is how easy it is to add any elements on your mega menus. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.